Golfers, let's talk about launch angle. That is the golf ball launching vertically when struck by the golf club. Some averages, I've got my driver, so averages for the PGA Tour around 11 degrees for the PGA Tour pros and a little higher for the LPGA Tour pros. Reasoning, club head speed. The average club head speed for the PGA Tour is getting up a little bit. It's right, right around 115 miles an hour. And the LB, LPGA Tour is creeping up to about 95 miles an hour. Some of the girls swing at over 100. Some of the guys swing it up to 130. It's crazy the athleticism developing through the professional tours. I swing it in the 107, 108 zone, and my launch is typically in that 13, 12, 12 degree area. Let's go ahead a little hit a shot and talk about it. So there's a well-struck driver, quite like it, get my data. So I, I launched it at 10.8 degrees and angle of attack was up 3.9. So my golf ball is traveling up into, the, up into the ball just a little bit. And my launch, pretty nice, maybe a little bit low on the face that one, so it spun a little bit more than I wanted to, but it was an appropriate launch angle. Let's talk about launching it too high and launching it too low. Some of the things that some of the Mevo Plus owners might suffer with, and I wanna help you figure that out. So some of the elements of launch. Launch, if we hit it high in the face versus low in the face, as I move this tee back and forth, high up in the face is gonna launch the ball a little higher. Middle, middle of the face is obviously the sweetest contact, the center of gravity for the golf club. And then down in the face launches a little bit lower naturally. So really important to hit the middle of the face. Elements of launch angle where my students struggle. Here's a good example. If I tee this ball up and I have a steep over the top golf swing where it looks something like this, there I even took a little bit of a divot with it. That's a downward touch on the golf ball. I launched it at 8.6 degrees and had excessive spin. So hitting down on your driver is a big no-no. Touching the ground with a driver is a big no-no. So some of the feels I want you to understand. When you are warming up, swinging your driver, quite often we hear this with people warming up. I'll hear this thwap. The driver is not meant to hit the ground. It can hit, it can hit the ground, but it's not ideal. So all practice swings while you are warming up and working on your swing shape should sound like this. Just a swoosh. Because when you tee it up, the goal of a driver is just to simply tip over the tee and have the ball come out the middle of the face. So any kind of a steep event that goes down over the top, this club is traveling down too much for you to have a appropriate launch window in that 11 to 13 degree range. The golf club has to be traveling from more inside that target line. The target line's that visual that is right through my ball to my eventual target where this club can get a little lower and then can, my body can rotate it into that golf ball so I can have an appropriate launch. Now, sometimes people hit it too high. They'll tee it up too high, they'll hang back and pop it up in the air. That's not typical usually. What's typical is the steep delivery over the top that spins it too much that hits the ball too low. So I'm not averse to a mildly high launch angle because I'm all for you carrying it as far as you can carry it. So let's hit one more. The golf ball is going to be the most forward within our stance for a driver. So from the face on camera, pretty easy to see that that golf ball is played forward within my stance, toward my lead foot, within my stance. If we get it too far forward, people I think, think they can hit up on it. Actually, they have to hit down more steeply when it's too far forward. So we get the ball within our stance, forward within our stance. Let's go ahead and hit one out there, see how we do. There's a nice high launch, fairly low spin drive that I'll take all day long. So that's in that magic window. I hit up on a 2.4, it launched at 12.6. And so with your Mevo Plus, you can put this tile in right there. You can take a look and you can internally start to figure out your best launch characteristics, whether it's for an iron or a driver. But let's face it, everybody loves bombing their driver. So let's get that correct launch and you will hit some bombs too. Thank <laughs> you.